am a cloud advocate with Microsoft Azure. And today I want to show you how to create a static app with Gatsby. If you want to follow along and do even more than this demo that I'm creating, you can go ahead and head over to the Microsoft Learn module. It's uh, under the static web apps and we'll make sure you get the link in the notes for this video. So static websites, they've been around forever. Uh, you can easily install Gatsby, which is a static site generator uh, in your terminal. So let's go ahead, let's open up a new terminal here in VS Code. And uh, to install it globally, we can just run this command of npm install Gatsby minus G. So there's three commands that'll get us started. Uh, we can just type Gatsby new demo site. Uh, and then if we had a GitHub URL, we can add it. Now, I actually do have a site right here, and it's forked. Now, I'm just going to clone this repo that I've already created rather than build a new scaffolding. So git clone. Um, like I said, you can go ahead and start with a brand new scaffolding, but this is a demo. Let's get through the demo quickly. So we'll go into Gatsby starter blog. And so one of the things you can see within here, um, there are all these different pages, Gatsby config, Gatsby Node.js styles components. Uh, React components are in the slash pages. Uh, those will become routes and then become pages. So let's, let's open it up. So we'll open our folder. Cool, we've got our folder here. Uh, we can see there's this content directory within that content directory is what actually will eventually turn into the pages. Um, so uh, we, if you see each post has its own uh, individual directory and a markdown file. And within that markdown file is where you can actually make your updates to your blog post. And that's what we're gonna do. So before I actually start our development server, what I'm gonna do is just run npm install. And that will install any of the required node modules that are going to be able to power our uh, new Gatsby website. So that ran, and now let's go ahead and type Gatsby develop. And so that's going to bring up our development server. You can see our Gatsby uh, blog is now available. Let's go to it. You can see right here, uh, written by Jay Gordon, a friend to dogs. You can follow me on Twitter and then just some real basic posts. If we go to new beginnings, we can actually take a look at it right here. And there is the new beginnings portion. So now to take this to production, we're going to want to move it into Azure. We're going to want to use the static web app server. So uh, what I'm going to do is we've made these changes here. Uh, I'm going to just git add git commit minus m and we'll just new update is what we'll give it as a comment git push and so now it's going to push our changes up here so once we've done that now we can actually go here static web apps right here at the top click on static web apps and we'll create a site so we'll create a new resource group what's a resource group it's a place for our resources so I'll just call it Gatsby blog. Okay. Hosting plan. So we've got two options free for hobby or personal projects or standard that'll actually cost you money. So we're going to stick with the free one. We can pick the location that we want our site to live in. Uh, I'll pick East US too, because that's the closest to me. Now we can actually pick the GitHub account where it's going to be uh, pulled from. We could use other ones such as Azure DevOps, but you have to do that after it's created. The GitHub workflow, as you can see, it'll go ahead and it'll authorize you, require you to authenticate. So we've authenticated with GitHub. And now what we're going to do is give it a name. So I'm just gonna enter J Gatsby blog. So now after we've gone ahead, we've logged in through GitHub, you'll see we have the options to go ahead and pick our organization. That's my J Destro the repository, and then we'll go here, Gatsby starter blog, and then we have the ability to pick our branch. We're gonna pick main. So now it's gonna ask for build details, and this is where we can actually select all these different types of frameworks that are available. Uh, we're gonna use Gatsby 
and Gatsby is going to be uh, where exactly our, our, our static site generator is going to look. It's going to be able to render the pages. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at We've got our application at slash. That's the root of where our app is going to exist in our repository. Uh, API locations. If we were using an API for static Azure, for Azure Functions, along with the static web app, we would put the location of this API. We're not going to do that today. We're just doing a simple demo. Now. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And it'll start the process of deploying it. So what's happening during this deployment? Well, this is the Azure deployment. This isn't the GitHub Actions deployment. We need to go ahead and go to the resource and we can see we've got our resource group, our subscription, subscription ID, the URL that I mentioned that would be created. And if you click on it right now, you can see it's instantly available, but it's got this demo page on here. And this demo page isn't really gonna help us. We want our deployed page. And so to find our deployment, we can see GitHub Actions run, uh, and that's where this workflow file has been added. So let's go to GitHub Actions run. And so we can see that there's actually a, um, an event going on to build our site. All right, so why don't we take a look? If we go back to the URL, we'll see new update. So that's everything today. I hope you've learned a whole lot about using Azure Static Web Apps and how to create a static site using Gatsby. Make sure you check out this learn module where you can take all these skills and use them here, or you can head to my GitHub repository that I will put in the notes and you can just fork this, use this as a template and copy and update this yourself. All right. Thanks again. Once again, my name is Jay Gordon. See you next time.